Alright, so if you're like me, you've downloaded this PC health tool to see if your machine is compatible with Windows 11, and for a while it said that my machine was not compatible with Windows 11. Well, I know for a fact my machine is. It's a fairly new machine. I built it this year. So of course it's up to date and it can run Windows 11. And now it actually says you can run Windows 11, but before I was getting an error or something like this saying that my machine was not compatible with it. Well, that's because of a few reasons. Because of the new Windows 11 system requirements, you're gonna need to have a TPM chip enabled, either firmware or hardware, and have a UEFI BIOS enabled, which I'll show you how to do everything in just a second. All right, so what you're gonna to wanna to check right now, go over to computer management, go to disk management, once it loads, click on this right here, right click properties, Go to volumes and you can see right now my partition style is set to GPT. Now GPT is what you need to have a UFIE BIOS enabled and if you're running an older older drive or you just didn't partition it to GPT you're gonna be running what's MBR and Windows 11 does not support MBR format so I'm gonna show you how to fix that very quickly. So what you want to do is you want to press Windows and X at the same time it should say either PowerShell Admin or Control Panel Admin. Go ahead, click Windows Shell Admin. Now we're gonna type in MBR2 GPT slash validate space slash allow full OS. Now we see right here now, my layout validation failed because I'm already on GPT, but if you are running MBR, this will say that it has succeeded. Now, the next thing you want to do after it says it succeeded, you're going to want to type in exactly what I type, MBR to GPT space slash convert space slash allow full OS. And then you're going to hit enter it's gonna, it's gonna show some lines of command. Just ignore that until you see successful, please reboot your machine, something along those lines. I'm not gonna do it because I've already done it, but I'll show a screenshot of what it should look something like. Now, once you've actually done that, you're gonna restart your machine and you're gonna press delete or whatever your BIOS key is. It will flash on screen for a few seconds and I'll see you in the BIOS. All right, now once you're in the BIOS, you're going to want to go to whatever your version of advanced mode is. Now, this is going to be a little bit different for every motherboard, so you might want to check your specific motherboard. First of all, go into boot. And if you have a CSM motherboard or anything that says CSM right here, click on it. You're going to want to go ahead and disable CSM. Then go to check secure boot. And secure boot state says user. I don't know why it says this on the, um, the ASUS motherboards, but it does. And OS type, you're gonna set that to Windows UEFI mode. And make sure you got that saved. Now, while we're in the BIOS, you're going to want to go to either AMD FTPM if you have an AMD motherboard, or I'll put the equivalent right here. So go ahead, click on it and select TPM device. You're gonna to want to go to enable firmware TPM unless you have a hardware chip that is a TPM chip. And hit easy mode, save and exit. Okay. All right, now hopefully, now that you've changed everything in the BIOS, switched your motherboard settings from legacy to UEFI and enabled TPM, you should be good to go and Windows 11 should say that you are compatible now. If not, I recommend checking your specific motherboard settings and Googling what motherboard you have along with UEFI BIOS settings and making sure that your motherboard does indeed support UEFI. Also check if you have something similar to CSM and what your specific motherboard settings need to be for that. Um, if you have any trouble formatting your hard drive or need any help at all you can google it or leave a comment down below and i'll try to help you out as best i can please like the video it shows that it helps you and helps other people find the video and with that thanks for watching and that's it